Yo, so I It's been a while since I posted. Uh, my apologies for that. Been quite busy with other things, not having the time to go out here in the shop so often as I would want to. However, I'm uh, still working on my uh, Super Sevens and also my ML10. Actually, uh, you see three candidates here. Then in different state of uh, finish. I'm on to the um, ELS stepper motors and having chosen different types of mounting them. I will show you in detail. Uh, also on the cross slide I've been uh, doing a little bit of modification so that I have now metric screws with double nuts. I will introduce stepper motors here. Uh, well, what I would want to do is have them detachable because um, I've seen that or experienced them uh, that on the cross slide uh, it's a little bit more like if you want a uh, delicate silky smooth feel you lose that of course with the stepper where you can feel the, the uh, with each step with a little bit of resistance it's not so much of a deal on the on the longitudinal axis really so um, that's a concern at least I wanted to address and therefore make it a little bit um, attention to that and to bring you in close uh, on one of the machines I'm doing the last thing I've done is to finish up the cross slide on this one it's not snug with a new set of bracket here made by uh, just a piece of steel that I had lying around laying around uh, to mimic of course this is the original but to mimic this one which came with one of my buys um, also then taking the opportunity to mount a metric screw instead of the original and I made these parts then and uh, also introduced uh, two thrust bearings so set of these into this incorporated that plus then with uh, thanks to myford you can buy these of course in metric so the match this two millimeter lead lead screw here that i'm using with bronze nuts uh, I have the matching here from Wyford the color with the dial in two millimeter per revolution so um, if you also then have a view in here you will see the stepper motor for driving the set axis uh, that is thanks to uh, an English gentleman I think that uh, I stole the idea from or at least we'll try that it does give you a little bit more noise with the motor mounted inside that and a little bit extra resistance with the stepper motor but else it's functioning okay So um, I'm pleased with that. Uh, by the way, this is how it looks when I work. I'm not the tidiest of guys. So um, if you turn around, you can see that. <laughs> but this is how it usually works. Um, here you can see the cross slide uh, system. Uh, not an and, uh, and screw metric with the double sided nuts I mean two nuts so this is adjustable on one side and then I have adjusted the snug fit on this guy here I have uh, as you can see not uh, the motor inside here but instead mounted it on the bracket which is quieter smoother with the belt 
a little bit more cumbersome and uh, of course could have mounted it here also as usual but I, then I would want to have this more beefed up which well that's also a possibility but I I mean this is where the gearbox sits anyway if you have a gearbox so uh, the space is, is uh, vacant now and um, this kind of resistance is okay I guess for the longitudinal axis but as I said for the cross axis either with a gear or with a direct drive or with some kind of belt pulley system I would want to have it detachable so that's what I'm opting for there uh, yeah and on my ML10 we can go over there also we also see a different version where I have the step motor mounted to drive the end of the screw there or the end of the lead screw um, it's just by chance or I mean it's, it's not a necessity to have it exactly that way but that is the way I chose so um, for the cross axis the I have opted to use this uh, integral motor lead screw. I'm not really certain if I'm all that happy, 100%. But anyway, it functions, but then it makes it non-detachable. So I might end up redoing that just after I've seen how it functions. Um, yeah. Otherwise... Plain sailing.